Frontier just released details for the Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha test and how it's going to work and we're going to break that down for you right now. If you enjoy this video hit the like and subscribe button and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications as that stuff really helps the channel and if you'd like to further support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So the big headline but not necessarily a big surprise is that the Odyssey Alpha will not give you complete unbridled access to everything at least not at first anyway. First and foremost the Alpha test is ...surprise surprise ...a test and Frontier are clearly keen to actively use the collected manpower of thousands of infused and engaged participants to give Odyssey a good shakedown and they're using the participants in a very focused way and channeling them to the bits that need testing. So how will it work? Well first things first there's no snapshot of the existing game being used to populate the Odyssey Galaxy with commanders. On phase 1, day 1 of the alpha we're all starting afresh with a new unsullied and importantly shipless commander. Yes, shipless. In phase 1 of the alpha Frontier want us testing localised on foot missions in a single star system and they want us using the new Apex interstellar taxi service to move around so you won't be able to buy your own spaceship during the initial phase but you will get access to the Maverick scavenger suit as well as energy and kinetic weapons. This is going to be fascinating. According to Frontiers release on the alpha phase 1 is designed to test their core gameplay systems and networking. Keeping everyone in one star system will mean, in their words, they'll be able to maximise player interaction. If it works as intended you're going to be seeing a lot of taxis and a lot of commanders running about completing missions. These missions will include salvage and delivery and collect missions. Phase 2 of the alpha ...note not necessarily week 2 ...there's a difference ...will see the focus of the test shift to weapons and balancing. A 20 light year bubble of space will open up and we'll be able to buy ships. Participants will also be granted to the Dominator tactical suit. Missions in neighbouring star systems will unlock and these will include trading with settlements and POIs. And the really big news for this part of the test ...faction conflicts will be unlocked and will gain access to the frontline solution system. Why is that important? Frontier have said very little about frontline solutions but they have made mention of large ground based battles. We know that Frontier Solutions is a sort of gun for hire mercenary system and we think it's frontline solutions that will give access to commanders to enter what equate to ground equivalent of combat zones, large scale surface based faction on faction conflicts. Phase 3 of the test will see the focused shift to exploration. The bubble of reachable systems will expand to 50 light years and we'll be able to test first footfall on a planet and exobiology genetic sampling with access being granted to the Artemis exploration themed suit. And finally Phase 4 will see testing of the Odyssey experience integration into the existing game with a snapshot of the live game being taken and added to the alpha test alongside the unlocking of carriers, ship launched fighters and SRVs. The aim being to test the compatibility of the new with the old. It's worth stressing that as with all of Frontiers alpha and beta tests what happens in the test stays in the test and has absolutely no effect on the main game whatsoever. You can be as reckless as you like and you'll lose nothing and affect nothing. If you've purchased the alpha edition of the game or you own a lifetime expansion pass then the alpha will appear on your game launcher at the bottom as an option to load into rather than the default Elite Dangerous Horizons. And perhaps most importantly this is a test and a gold plated opportunity for you to feed back your findings and any faults you find to Frontier. Be sure to fill out any bug reports that you can when you find them. So that's it. Monday it all kicks off and we all start getting taxis everywhere. I'm really excited to sample all of it but I do think phase 2 has particularly piqued my interest. But what about you? What phase of the alpha has you most interested and what are you most looking forward to testing? Let us know in the comments below and we'll maybe see you in a bar for a debrief sometime soon. 
that's it for now thanks very much for watching if you found this video useful consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.